want you to think about maybe it doesn't have to be that hard. Maybe there's a different way. And when I look to nature and when I look to science, when I think of power, I think this. I think, and I think specifically of spirals. And, you know, as an engineer, I worked in motors. I worked in motor design. And, you know, to, to create power in, a, in an alternator in a car or in a, in a starter, you've got rotating currents going through each other generates power. If you, you know, I'm from Indianapolis, and now I can say this here. I've been trying to change my words because we now have Andrew Luck. But, you know, you have Peyton Manning, the master quarterback. When he throws that ball, he puts a spiral on it, doesn't he? That's what moves it down the field. There's power in that. We also could look to um, we could look to the Midwest. We get a lot of these things called tornadoes out there. Very scary. But you know, when you think about it, it's a spiral, and it really whops a wallop much more than a strong gale of wind, a straight line function. And the really amazing thing about a, a tornado is that there's that very calm eye in the middle of it. And not that I'm suggesting that you become a destructive tornado, but what if you could get done what you need to do with the power of that and stay at peace? The, the thing about conflict is you want to know when you have it. You want to know when you have it, because you can't do anything with it unless you're aware that you have it. Recognize and that you've got this tension. And now that tension may be something that's overtly verbal, or it may be something that you just feel. It's like, I don't think that person, maybe that person, that client just left and I've had a feeling that there wasn't something right. So it feels like this inside. Like, I think, I wonder, was there something they weren't happy with? So it's, it's that, it could be very internal feeling. But to recognize, when do I have it? When do I have it? And, and really getting to know yourself enough that you can say, ah, I, I recognize this is happening. Now, this in itself is fine, and you want to have this, because if you don't ever have tension or a conflict, you don't move forward, you don't create. So conflict in itself is not a bad thing. Because I can be really clear about knowing myself, and I could really know Jeremy really well. But then I put a whole team of us together, and there becomes an, almost a third entity, which is the team. And so knowing us, because we all bring out different things in each other. Recognizing who am I working with and what works for them. And you can't make assumptions on that because I've worked with people that have known each other for years and they make assumptions about what's okay with each other. And the fact is, they're wrong. Of course, you know, the economy tanking, the, the economy didn't think, oh, I think we'll innovate now. <laughs> I think I'll tank and see what everyone does. But, but, but we don't want to have, if you have a, an environment in which everyone is comfortable all the time, it probably doesn't innovate. Yes. And actually, Aikido is a martial art. And it's one of the newer martial arts. It evolved back in the mid-1900s in Japan by a man named Morihei Weshiba. And he is considered one of the finest martial artists that ever lived. He died in the 1960s. But he was he was not even five feet tall. And he was one of those people that was consumed with studying all kinds of different martial arts. And he taught them, he studied them. And, and midlife, he got to a point where he thought, you know, I have a little disconnect with what I'm doing with my life and what my values are. And he, he said, you know, I value family and I value community. And, but what I'm keeping, I'm teaching people to kill and maim each other. And so he noticed there was a disconnect. So he actually took a sabbatical and he went to the mountains and he farmed for about five years and he had a quest. His quest was to try to find the true martial art. And there's some mystical things written about him, but for me, that's not as important as what he, what he decided. He came back and he said, I have found the true martial art and it is love. And so he went back to the dojo, which is a place of practice, and his intention changed. His intention came to nurture his attacker's life as well as his own. And it came to be called Aikido because Aikido literally translated I is blending, Ki is energy, and Do is the way of life. Spiral. If you, if you look at the dynamics of a wave, it's a spiral. It comes in and it retreats. And it's a, there's a spiral that happens there.